Hello, this is Black Cross One, and welcome back to the Banner Saga. We just want to fight against the locals because they're all bitches. And now we're gonna buy some more food. Uh, the thieves scatter pretty quickly, and when you start laying into them, but when you return to the caravan, you discover why even more supplies have gone since you rushed up to fight. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we can still buy some more. Ha ha! Net gain. Ooh, rest time. Run oh, shit! We're not fucking miserable now. Random assortment of people from the caravan confront you. Listen, says one. We don't feel safe here. I don't know anything about menders or whatever, but we're going to leave, and I hope you'll join us. Looks like a couple dozen farmers and fighters alike feel the same way. I wish them well, you know. I gotta do what I gotta do. I ain't fucking gonna make people stick with me. Uh, you give them your blessing, but explain why you can't leave just yet. You don't know where they're going, but hope you'll meet them w again on the road as they start the way back across dry land. 48 clansmen, 22 fighters, and 6 for all. More food for the rest of us! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Okay, stubborn... Oh. Stubborn crosses, best cross. Keep going. Don't stop. I feel like I've made a mistake here. Holy shit. How many days did I just rest? <laughs> What if I click leave now? Okay, just a little longer. Holy shit. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I feel like those bells are my mistakes incarnate. One forty five, that's where I stop. Fuck me. Alright then. I sees how it is. We're done. I'm sure she'll catch up with us. Huh. We only have 19 fighters. We used to be in the hundreds. <laughs> We've got problems, says Ivor. The whole place is flooded. We could try to walk the muddy parts, but it'll be slow going. We could try to float the caravan over the lake, but we might tip or get stuck. Or we could just go around the whole thing, but no idea how long that'll take. Before the river, fuck it. Back up everything and take as much weight off the wagons as you can. Soon you're walking through ankle deep water and thick mud, hoping the rest of the caravan can hold out. Footing is sticky and slow, but the water isn't too deep outside of the town. It takes a while, but you manage to cross the enormous mud pile outside the single home with an intact, if not cranky, caravan of people. <laughs> Bow. I feel really bad. Like, really bad. <sighs> I had seven days of supplies. And I rested for like 20 days. Our caravan is so small. I just don't know what to say. A flurry of snowfall seems to come out of nowhere. It quickly thickens until you are unable to see the man in front of you. You shout out a complete halt, but the screaming winds drown out the sound. Day passes before the blizzard abates. The clansmen start to reappear from the snow drifts. It quickly becomes apparent that not everybody is where you last saw them. The quick search of the area is not enough to recover all the missing clansmen. Um. No, move on. 
we can't wait. As the caravan prefers to move, a woman shouts, No! They're out there! If you won't look, I will! Uh, we're not even a caravan anymore. We're just a group of like 200 dudes. We're like a mob now. As you're about to head off to sleep for the night on a fuzzy side. I have a couple of concerns I wanted to speak to you about, she says. In private. You find a quiet place to talk. Is it about the fact that I wasted all our food? What's on your mind? How well do you know the people traveling with us? How many strangers are in the caravan now? Who are you worried about? I've been watching folks since I joined you. Our companions from Skulgur. They're loyal. I mean, it seems pretty clear they'd die to protect you. I suppose I'd do the same. What's What about the Varl? You don't even know half those warriors. You're telling me they have no problem following man's orders now. After everything that happened in Iron Toft. Um... They joined us voluntarily. They might have voluntarily put their sword in their gut too. What happens the first time the Varl don't want to do what you tell them? Let's be honest, they could take this caravan by force at any time if they wanted to. Uh, I've got no choice but to trust them. Gotta disagree with that, Rook. We always have a choice. They're not the biggest problem, though. There's a mender with us. A mender who pulls lightning out of the sky and tells us what to do and where to go. Myself, I think we lucked out when his mentor didn't show up in Sigurholm. Ivan, just the apprentice? What the depths is the master capable of? Think about it, Rook. What do you really know about Ivan? I heard they were found practically dead in the middle of nowhere when the dredge started showing up. Then an enormous serpent shows up at Iron Toft tearing the world in half, takes one look at Ivan, and bolts. Suddenly, they need our help instead of the Mender's Council? How does that make any damn sense? Um... You might be distorting what happened. Or Ivan might be. I'm grateful for what you've done to get us this far, Rook. But it's always been about trust. I think it's time to part ways, so to speak. Nothing personal. Fuck you! Suddenly you gasp for air. When you look down, Onof is holding a knife buried between your ribs! What the fuck?! No! Your vision blurs and blood fills your sight. You gasp again. There's a bird whistle. The camp becomes a blur of motions. Onof's fighter from Vosvila leap into action, cutting people down. As Old Love turns to fire on the men, Onof runs her through and pulls the blade from her back without even breaking his stride. She drops a sack up f like a sack of flour in one clean motion. His blade then takes Egil in the throat before the boy can grab his shield. Onof head straight for alert and freezes unbridled terror. Holy fuck! Rise to the feet for through the pain. Egil and Onaf are dead. Somehow you find the strength to cleave the near nearest traitor in two, but you can't breathe to shout. You think your lung might be punctured. Onaf clutches Let's wrist amongst the commotion, tosses her bow aside and pulls her into the deep woods. Her eyes meet you yours across the site. No, her lips say, though you can't hear the words. A dozen men appear between you as Ivor steps into view, fearsome as you've ever seen him. What the fuck? Oh yeah, an eagle was the one I wasn't supposed to trust. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't even know what to fucking say. Other than fuck. <laughs> what a bitch. Um... Yeah, alright then, sure, we'll just fucking roll with that. <sighs> so we're gonna get... I don't know. We're gonna get everyone to rush left side. Um, He's gonna rush and see if he can reach those two. Which he definitely should be able to. Fuck, I'm not good at counting. They're gonna not do anything, and then get smacked. Fuck you. And Ivor's gonna be like, nope. Nope. 
you will regret that decision. And then he's dead. Fuck, don't kill him. Fuck, don't kill him. Fuck, don't kill him. Fuck, don't kill him. Okay, good. Uh, you're gonna come over here. And you're gonna shoot her. And then... Ah, oh, shit. Fuck, don't kill him. Fuck, don't kill him. Fuck, don't kill him. You can kill him. You can you can kill him. Fuck you! She was, like, our best fucking chance. Whatever. Um... Alright, Rook will go. <sighs> I don't know what to say. Oddlef. Who is that on the dead? Oddlef and. someone else. Oh, Jesus, oh, I don't even know. Uh, guts. <laughs> Boom! Haha! Take that, bitch. And yeah, Hogan will just deal with this guy by himself. Yeah, we'll just do a bloody flail over here. Bibbity bobbity boobity bitch! Aha! Shit. Mm. Ouchie. We ouchie mama. Uh, let's kill this guy. <laughs> Because I ever can just continue to do that. Shit, you're gonna hit me. Fuck. Um, you shoot her. She hasn't taken any damage. Uh, oh, he's gonna be able to do his thing now quite effectively. Uh, you kill her. Boom, bitch. They're gonna shoot. Oh, her. Well, he's gonna be like, Guts, baby! Ha ha! And Ivor's gonna fucking smack a bitch. You're gonna, like, cry. <laughs> yeah, hit that guy as low as you can. There you go. You're gonna take another hit, apparently. You're gonna kill this guy. Because you can. You're still not dead. Congratulations. Gonna hit this bitch quite hard. I don't know what Rook's gonna do. Oh, Rook's gonna be able to reach him now. Make him regret for hitting a lady. Bitch, this is what you get. Boom. Ah, shit. Ooh, deflected. Hey, hey. Uh, let's kill this bitch. And then Hogan slash Mogan dies. No! Still kicking! Oh boy! What a man! Just won't fucking die. Haha! -ha. Oh! Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty obvious. He was gonna die, but whatever. Keep kicking ass. Even without so many people in my party, I cry. Okay, let's break down this guy's armor a bit, because he's got quite a bit. Probably could have used the thing there. Whatever. Ooh, chi. Ah, dodged. And you're dead now? Cool, Ivor will be able to do something next turn. Uh, yeah, Russian, kill this guy. And then pillage time. Pillage time. Oh, dodged again, motherfucker. Do that. You just, like, have a nap. And you remind this guy of what a barrel can do. Uh, I still can't believe fucking Ona. What a bitch. Oh, well, at least my party's smaller now. Less mouths to feed slash run away. That's more renowned, too. Morale's down. Where's Let? Shouts Ivor, tearing through the nearest bandit. The party hobbling into the deep woods where she, they disappeared, ignoring the battle raging behind you. In a haze of pain, you start to think that 
You've lost their tracks. Then you hear a let screaming in the distance, followed by silence. You run through the trees. In a small clearing, a let lies with her back against a tree. Her hands and her clothes are covered in blood. She stares vacantly ahead, unblinking. Beside her is the body of Onef, an arrow buried in his right eye, as if placed there by hand. She looks at you in the, your direction, and then Onef. Kill them, she says. Alette, no. Alette, are you alright? You you cringe as much from the pain as the appearance of Alette after her bloody struggle with Onav. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not hurt. I had no choice. I had no choice. Dad, your chest, you're bleeding. Suddenly she's at your side, putting pressure to the wound. I can, I can fix this. Where's my needle? Odla, anyone? Ivor, I found them! Just as your sight goes black, you see Ivan, Ivor and Olette standing over you. Is he going to make it? Your eyes open to the sound of Olette's voice. Normally, a wound like that? I only hope I did enough. I'll survive. Dad! Olette stops herself from hugging your bandaged chest, pulling her head to your... It's pulling your head to her and said, the words come out easier than you expected. Odd left. It's a good thing Ivan was here. She's going to pull through, even though there was a nasty wound. Managed to kill most of those traitor sons of bitches, and the rest fled into the woods. There were a lot of people I couldn't save. You did everything you could, Ivan. Nobody expects you to raise the dead. Ivan frowns deeply, putting a hand to his forehead. Why did you own enough do this, Rook? He was talking to you right before it happened. Um, I've been planning it all along. I think that much is clear. He killed, killed a good half dozen of Onuf men, Onuf's men by himself. He told me Onuf was running to Frostvillar the whole time. Onuf was running Frostvillar the whole time. Oh, he left Frostvillar behind when he saw a better opportunity. Guess that relationship is over. Eagle was always just a, the barking dog you put in the yard to find out who your enemies are. It's no accident Onof went, went after those of us from Skogar. He must have thought with us gone, he'd take the banner and the rest would fall in line. Or at worst, they'd take all the supplies from themselves and leave the rest of us as stretch best. Yeah, the supplies, because we have so much for, us, for them to take. We have to be more careful. We can't just let anyone join the caravan anymore. Uh... No. No. We're not like him. Fuck that. Also, I mean, I have no food anyways. Everyone, like, you can come. Whatever. Just starve with us. Yeah. You're a better person than I, Rook. None of this changes the fact that the Bellower is out somewhere following us. That swamp around Sigilhorn might buy some time, but we've got to keep moving. Your body aches all over, but Ivor's right. The road calls. The caravan is already starting to pack up camp. Oh boy. Well, I'm just gonna end the episode as well as the recording session here. Because, oh! It's Black Ops 1 playing the Banner Saga. I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day and goodbye!